Prey. The winner of the Channel 5 Tic Tac Doe Talent Search has been enjoying a certain measure of success on those programs. His quest for stardom and, more importantly, money continue on Tic Tac Doe right here on Channel 5 tonight at 7 o'clock. But in the meantime, Kit is back home after taping his shows in L.A. And, Kit, I guess your success has got to uh, spill over to the family and friends. How are they taking your notoriety? Well, uh... I've gotten pretty much attention. Of course, I guess if I win a lot of money, I'll get more. But, uh, not to, <laughs> but you'll, uh, you'll find relatives you never thought you had, right? <laughs> no, but it's uh, it's been very enjoyable, and been uh, too much pressure. I'm kind of surprised at all the uh, hubbub it's caused, really. But well, uh, the show itself—it seems uh, when it comes across on the television screen, it seems like it's a lot of fun to do. Did you find that to be true? Yes, it was, and the people there uh, really made an effort to make it a pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Wink was very nice, just about what you'd expect. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the whole, it was a lot of fun. Okay, so don't forget that Kit will be back on Tic Tac Doe tonight here on Channel 5 at 7 o'clock, and uh, he's going to go from there. Thanks very much, and Thank lots you. of luck to you. Bob? Well, as the debate over the... It's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now, here's our host, Wink Martindale. Thank you so much. Nice audience, nice people. And no cat calls, please. I could get used to that and learn to love it. Nice audience. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Say hello to our current champion on Tic Tac and Doe. Our current champion, whose winnings in cash total $1,700, is the winner of the Tic Tac Doe West Palm Beach Contestant Search. A store manager whose interests include genealogy and playing postal chess, meet Kit Salisbury. And his opponent works for a savings and loan company, and her interests include aerobics and volunteer work, meet Marilyn Bradshaw. Say hello to Kit over here. Works for a savings and loan company. Counts all the money, maybe? Um, I try to. All Feels right. good sometimes. All right. And you're into aerobics. You're one of those people who gets up every morning and does the aerobics. I try. <laughs> I try. That's really strenuous, mm -hmm. isn't it? Um, I don't go as often as I'd like to, yeah. but... But they do it on television. You can do it from the privacy of your own mm -hmm. home, if you'd like. Well, you it's ever better that? that way. It's yeah. better that way. You ever do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They say that's great for you. I wish I could get into it. My wife has done a lot of the aerobics. Thing, it is. It's really good I tried for it in you. Hawaii and almost killed myself. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. I mean, if you're not into that, you got to be in shape to do aerobics, really. <laughs> anyway, Marilyn, nice to have you with us. Thank you. It's Thank you. And this is Kit Salisbury, the winner of our Tic-Tac-Toe West Palm Beach contestant search. Welcome back, champ. Thank you. He's won $1,700 in cash so far. A relative newcomer to the championship. Exercise. Yeah, I need exercise, Kit, and he's, it just so happens he's taking care of that. What do we have here? Yeah, the station in West Palm Beach, WPTV, has presented you with a High Lie Sesta. Yeah, from Channel 5, WPTV, that carries our show in West Palm Beach. Well, that's very nice, and you brought this all the way from West Palm Beach, Florida. Yeah. Don't forget the helmet. And something else goes with it, the helmet that goes with it, huh? Is that neat? really nice of them to do that. You had to have a whole extra suitcase to bring all this stuff out here, huh? Got some strong I'll have looks. a ball with this, yes. I hope I get a ball with that, because you can't play that without a big ball. You also need a court about as big as this studio, too, don't you? Anyway, Kit, thank you. Nice. Welcome back. Let's play the game, shall we? Good luck to you both. Kit Salisbury and Marilyn Bradshaw. Last show, time ran out right in the middle of the game, and these were the categories. Remember these, folks? Nicknames. Bonus category, TV roles, physics, musicals, player pass, foreign words, the auction category, and news of the 1980s. The board looked like this, and the pot is worth $600. Six boxes left, so let's keep going. Shuffle and turn to Kit for a next pick. News of the 80s, please. News of the 1980s in the center box, a two-parter worth 300 bucks. In May 1980, Kit, this volcano erupted in the Northwest United States. The explosion, which caused almost $3 billion in damages, was estimated to have a force almost 500 times as powerful as an atomic bomb. I want you to name the volcano and then tell me in what state is it located. Give you a few seconds to think on that.
Kit, name that volcano. Mount St. Helens. Yes, in what state is it located? Washington. Yes, Mount St. Helens in the state of Washington. News of the 80s, big news, 1980. We put an X there, $900 pot. Marilyn Bradshaw. I'll take, oh my. Come on, Marilyn. I'll take the um, bonus category. The bonus category? Okay. Mm. Marilyn, this is a three-part question. Answer all three parts correctly, and you immediately get another turn. The subject of this bonus question is U.S. geography. Yellowstone National Park extends over three western states, and I want you to name all three of those states. Go. Wyoming. Yes. Montana. That's correct, and one more. Mm. South Dakota. No, Idaho. Oh. Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Sorry about that, Marilyn. Took calculated risk with that. $900 in the pot. We shuffle again and move back to Kit Salisbury. Play or pass in the lower right. Please. Play or pass category, all right? I'll read you a question, and you either answer it or pass it up for the next question. The subject of the questions this time is monarchs. The subject, monarchs. Here's the question. The ruling family that has ruled the longest has been in power for almost 2,000 years. Does that house rule over Thailand, Japan, or Denmark? You want to answer this question, Kit, or go for the next one, which you'll have to answer? No, I'll try this one. All right, if your answer is correct, you will have won your second game of tic-tac-toe. $1,100 would go with it. That would take your total winnings in cash to $2,800. What is your answer? Japan. You got it. Salisbury from West Palm Beach, Florida, continues as our champion with Tic-Tac-Doe for a diagonal work on the board, totaling $2,800. Again, Kit, congratulations to you. Marilyn, uh, the time ago, were you going for the bonus category uh, because you wanted to go for two boxes on the board, or did you notice that uh, you needed to block him down there? No, no, I knew I had to block him, but okay. I thought maybe I'd have a chance to block two and chances. get yeah. another X Okay, on, I, that's I'm, what I figured you were doing. Didn't quite work out for no. you, Marilyn, but we do yeah. have a couple of nice prizes for you, and you made a mighty pretty picture on television. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Marilyn Bradshaw, we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, kid, if you're all ready to take on the dragon, join me over here, will you? Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, kid, behind these numbers, various amounts of money, denominations of cash, tick, attack, and of course, the thing. Reach $1,000 or more or get tick, attack. And here's what you're going to win. Listen. Well, kid, of idle hands of the Devil's Playground, here are gifts to keep all your fingers busy. First, kid, you'll use your thumb and forefinger to turn the dial on this brilliant color TV. Hitachi's 13-inch TV, 100% solid state. Low power consumption, special signal tracker system, memory fine tuning, earphones, solid state 70 position UHF tuner, from Hitachi. Next, you'll need your middle finger to draw back the bowstring as you try out this top quality archery set. From service merchandise where famous brand name items are always priced right, select from our 500 page catalog or shop in person at any one of our convenient showrooms from service merchandise. Then you'll be able to open your garage door with your little finger when you touch this handy remote control unit. Alistair's professionally installed garage door opener system, radio controlled from the safety, comfort, and convenience of your car, from Alistair. And finally, kid, here is a prize worth more than $1,300 to adorn your special lady's ring finger, this sparkling diamond ring. From Kremlin's Jewelry, a beautiful 14-karat yellow gold ring featuring four oval-shaped garnets and four round full-cut diamonds. Jewelry to wear with pride from Kremlin's Jewelry. This Busy Fingers package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,400. Television gift certificate, garage door system, and gold ring. $3,400, as Charlie mentioned. Let's cover them up and move them around now. And I notice that your lovely bride is seated there in the first row in seat one. Yeah. Uh, anybody else here besides your uh, wife? Uh, our... 20-month-old daughter, Betsy, is back at the hotel. Okay. Well, what's your wife's name? Susan. Susan, are you going to help out with this job here? All right. I'm going to turn it over entirely to her with Susan, that Susan, he doesn't want to take the responsibility here. So what do you think? Number two? Or is that three? What would you say? Two. Okay, look at number two. 
behind little deuce comes tick number one numero uno right next door one hundred dollars you need nine hundred or tax six six and six all right behind six what do we find did Ned beat you before? On number six. What is it with you, Sue? You got beat by six before. That's right. He'd do fool us from time to time. Well, let's see. Where was the tack? That's what you really needed in order to win that nice prize package. Right down here behind number nine. So the dragon beat you two times in a row, but you still have $2,800 in cash. You're still our champion, so can't go over there and let's get a new match underway. And for that, of course, Charlie, we need a new player. Oh, Would you please? You bet, Wink. He's a sales manager whose interests include running and playing the guitar. Meet Jim Fischinger. Hello, Jim. Hi. Jim, welcome to our show. Tell us about your work and the kind of work it is. Well, I work for a company that sets up uh, costume, adult costume departments in major retailers all across the country. And you sell these or rent them to adults? Uh, yes, and the, the business is really getting bigger every year. Big business, huh? Indeed. Uh, seems like more and more people every year are getting into you know, dressing up for Halloween and uh, renting costumes. It, fantasies are the thing. What are the hot costumes right now? What, what, what are the big, big things? Well, for women, it's costumes like the French maid. But for men, it's more the macho thing, like Darth Vader, and uh, pirates. Don't you think people look or, or, or might feel like they might look a little silly dressed up in these things, or is it mostly for costume parties? It's for costume parties, yes. Yeah. I know it didn't bother me. I, I once rented, true story, I once rented a pirate costume, and they told me if I wanted the earrings with it, it would cost me a buccaneer. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to do that again for you if you didn't get it? <laughs> See, they'll be driving home tonight and say, hey, they just start laughing at wife, so what are you laughing at? <laughs> well, you remember Wink Bucket? Oh, let's take a look at the board. The subjects for the game, Kit, Jim, are big and little, grand question, comic strips, classical music, rock music, challenge category, movies, double or nothing, and plain talk. Kit, begin, please. Rock music in the center, please. In the center, rock music. He had no doubt at all about what he wanted. I'll describe two jazz rock groups, and you name them for me, Kit. This group was one of the first to combine jazz with rock in the late 1960s in such hits as Spinning Wheel and You've Made Me Feel So Very Happy. In the 1970s and 80s, this rock group moved closer and closer to jazz with hit songs like Ricky Don't Lose That Number and albums like Asia. Think about those for a few seconds, Kit, and then I'll ask for your answers. In the 1960s, the late part of that decade, they combined jazz with rock and came up with some big hits like Spinning Wheel and You've Made Me So Very Happy. What group was that, Kit? Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Right. How about in the 70s? The rock group moved closer and closer to jazz. Songs like Ricky Don't Lose That Number and albums like Asia. What would that be? Fleetwood Mac? No, Steely Dan. Steely Dan was the name of the group. Oh, everybody in the audience knew, right? So you'd make excellent players down here. Let's move the categories around. We shuffle. Jim, it's your turn. First pick. What's it going to be and where? I think I'll try double or nothing in the lower left. Lower left corner, all right. The double or nothing category. You get a chance to earn two boxes on this turn, but first you'll have to answer this question, Jim. The subject of the double or nothing question is world leaders. This Middle Eastern leader was elected president of Egypt in 1956, four years after he had led the revolt which overthrew King Farouk and established Egypt as a republic. Name him. Is it Nasser? Yes, President Gamal Abdel Nasser. You're right. Now, you're right to that point. But to earn the box, you've got to select another box. Answer that question correctly, and that's what we mean by double or nothing. You get both boxes, but miss it, Jim, and you get neither one. Which box would you like? I think I'll take movies in the center. In the center, movies, a two-parter. Here's the question. Take a look at this picture. Critics call this man one of the finest actors of all time. He's seen here in the role that won him an Academy Award. First, name the actor, Jim, and then name the role he played. And I'll give you a few seconds to study that.
Jim, name that actor. Uh, Rex Harrison, I... No, that's Laurence Olivier, great Shakespearean actor. And of course, the role there was Hamlet. Hamlet, Sir Laurence Olivier. That part I knew, but I couldn't... So you don't get either one of those boxes, double or nothing. You take a chance, you take a shot, and you don't get them if you don't get both of them. Back in a moment, we'll be with more of Tic Tac Day. Some of our departing contestants will receive the Uniden EX4000 Extender Phone. Has a range of up to 1,000 feet, two-way paging, and an intercom system from Uniden Corporation, world's largest producer of cordless telephones. Also, Black & Decker's Collector, the powerful handheld vacuum with a long cord to pick up where big backs leave off. The Collector from Black & Decker. Plus, if you wear dentures, you should know about Rigident. Laboratory tests prove it holds 38% stronger than any leading adhesive. Rigident. It holds 38% stronger. Also, now that people know Meow is a request for Meow Mix, what's next? <coughs> Meow Mix brand cat food. Wink back to you. I look at the board. I realize we've been through a round, but I see no X's or O's up there. Jim, Kit, is that what you see? I'm afraid so. Well, let's do yes. something about that. Let's start all over again. We shuffle the categories and Kit Salisbury. <laughs> Select. I'll take double or nothing in the upper right. You're going to do it again, uh, double or nothing, all right? You know how it works, so here is the question. The subject of this double or nothing question is weather, Kit, weather. This type of powerful whirling storm forms over oceans in tropical regions and may measure several hundred miles in diameter. Typhoons and cyclones are both forms of this type of storm. Name it. Hurricane. Yes, it would be a hurricane, you're correct. So again, so far, so good. But to earn that box that says double or nothing, you must select another box. Answer that question correctly, and you get both boxes. Miss it, as you remember from the last time, and you get neither. Which box would you like, Kit? Movies, please. Want movies? Upper Top center. center, all right. Take a look at this picture, Kit. At the climax of the 1983 hit film, The Return of the Jedi, this father and son must do battle. Name either character. Darth Vader. You got it. And you have the two boxes. <laughs> Darth Vader, of course, and Luke Skywalker up here. So you get an X in movies, and you get an X in double or nothing. And we have $400 in the pot for those two boxes. We shuffle the categories. And Jim, which one would you like? Well, I don't like it, but I'll take classical music for the block. Jim, you need this to block him. Here's your question. This famous conductor led the Boston Pops Orchestra for almost 50 years. The recordings he made with the Pops sold more than 50 million copies, making him one of the best-selling classical artists of all time. For a block, name him. Take a guess. Arthur Fiedler. Arthur Fiedler in the Boston Pops, the late Arthur Fiedler. Let's move the categories around. $400 in the pot. Kit, your turn. Movies to win, please. If you answer this question correctly on movies, Kit, you will have $600 to add to your $2,800. That would give you, in cash, a total of $3,400. Look at this picture. I want you to name the actor who played this actress, and you will have tic-tac-toe and $3,400, Kit. What is your answer? Dustin Hoffman. Right, you win. <laughs> Tootsie, Dustin Hoffman. So, Kit, congratulations. You're double or nothing plus that uh, category, and you have a blitz game across the top of the board. And I repeat, that gives you, in case you've forgotten, and how could you, $3,400 with a shot at the dragon again, against whom you have had little or no luck at all. Well, Jim, blitz game, uh, you had a... Well, some problems with uh, the categories you selected. However, we do have a couple of nice parting gifts for you, and our thanks for being here on Tic Tac. Jim. Thank you. It's been fun. Jim Fishinger. Okay, kid, are you ready? Come on over. Yeah, he had problems with Sir Lawrence Olivier, and that's where he uh, started going downhill there. Yeah, I'm a big, but, I'll be a big fan of Sir Lawrence from now on. <laughs> Forever. In a moment, the dragon's going to be jumping around. We'll talk about what you're going to do later. Right now, we want to look at the prize package. And for that, we call in Sir Charlie O'Donnell. Well, kid, the ancients thought our universe consisted of earth, air, fire, and water. And those words describe these modern gifts. First, kid, here's a gift of earth. Clay fashioned into the finest porcelain china. Bernardo de la Moja's four-place porcelain dinnerware set, elegant china enhanced by traditional design, interpreted for today's styles from Landis Marketing Corporation. Then you'll have a gift of cool 
cool air from this top grade air conditioner. Enjoy cool comfort this summer with a Fetters Whisper Quiet Room Air Conditioner. All Fetters Room units are powered by a high efficiency rotary compressor and carry the good housekeeping seal. Next, we bring you fire in this great gas barbecue. A great gas grill from Arkla with a large tempered viewing window, plus Arkla's exciting cookbook, The Pleasures of Gas Grilling. And finally, kids, you'll enjoy beautiful water surrounding you as you cruise the Blue Caribbean in the idyllic Bahamas. In the 18th century, these islands were favorite pirate haunts, now an idyllic vacation spot. Sunbathe and swim on golden beaches, enjoy balmy evenings and sparkling nightlife, surrounded by the breathtaking natural splendors of these romantic islands. While there, you'll enjoy one of the Windjammer barefoot cruises, a casual sailing adventure in the exotic Caribbean for both old salts and landlubbers. Take off your shoes and sail away to paradise with Windjammer Barefoot Cruises. This earth, air, fire, and water package is worth in cash and prizes over $4,200. Living in West Palm Beach, the Bahamas is like going home, huh? Yeah, right out our back door. <laughs> okay, we're going to cover them up and move them around now. Susan, like, give me a number. Number five in the center. All right, he's not even looking. Number five gives you what? In the center box, we have found $500. Now, that is a better start. Susan? Four. Okay. Number, number four. four. All right. $500 plus what's behind number four? Tack, you need tick or $500. Okay. Number two. Number two. Top center. $500 or tick. $400. You need $100 more. Okay. Number three. Number three for $100 or tick. Do they go to the Bahamas from West Palm Beach? No. I can't believe it. Let's look at the rest of the board. Where was tick? There it was over there behind number seven. Sorry about that. We'll be back in just a moment, I think. I just figured out if you could win against the dragon every time, you'd have about sixteen or seventeen thousand dollars. As it is, you have cash three thousand four hundred dollars. Kit, congratulations for that. We'll see you right back here. I'll fly in from West Palm Beach for the next show. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Some of our funny contestants will see. Want to put some punch in your party? Have a blasting. That's the best tasting pickle I ever heard. Serve crunchy, delicious blasting pickles. Oh, Cedar Dynamatic Mop. Rings quick, rings easy. It's another top quality work saver from O Cedar. O Cedar makes your life easier. Only Arid has this baby fresh scent. Tough on wetness and odor. But mmm, baby fresh on you. Arid baby fresh spray, roll on solid, and baby fresh cream. Hawk, free spirited, riding the wind. Hawk, cologne and aftershave, made for the man who reaches higher. Hawk by Menon. Now, it's Phil and Gary every morning. Look for Donahue at 9, our magazine at 10. Be there with... Tic Tac Doe is a Jack Barry and Dan Enright production.